yes, we are in a vegetable garden, and even in a cool, wet spring like we've been having, there are vegetables. And I'm with Jan McNeilan. And Jan, I think this is such a successful garden for what kind of weather we're dealing with. You bet. I'm wearing my uh, hooded Hawaiian sweatshirt <laughs> today, so that makes me feel I'm warm, warm warmer. Yeah. But look at these peas. They're gorgeous. Well, they are now, and they <laughs> weren't before. I decided, wait a minute, these little slugs are getting these guys. Ah. And as soon as I put on the phosphorus little pellet, slug bait they took off so and then I've planted lettuce twice as soon as I put the slug bait in with the lettuce they came up I thought the seed wasn't coming up and instead everything green was being eaten by the slugs and I would think it's the weather so it could be slugs it so could be. Another... well and it is the weather in that the slugs are there when it's really super moist which we have so right. it's it's sort of connected ah, so. so really pay but attention the tomatoes are doing well Good. the peas are coming up I've used the floating row cover this is floating row cover or reme Mm -hmm. um, you can get there's it a any. lot of different commercial names for it. You can get it there's not much in here to look at at this point, <laughs> so I just put some more lettuce seeds in yesterday. If you're using this, you have to, if it's windy in your area, mm -hmm. you have to tack it down, but you have to make uh, sure that it's loose enough so that the, literally the plants will make it float and stand up. This is bok choy at this end, and it's starting to do better as soon as I put the slug bait on. And so the floating row cover actually helps keep the heat in a little bit to kind of Very help little. Plants. It's more actually for insect protection, and okay. that's why it's on this bed. And this bed is charred, and we have beet leaf miner on our chard every year. Uh -huh. So this is how much chard came up. So I just replanted some yesterday, but we'll put this over the top. The insect that is responsible for the, the leaf miner on the chard will then be um, not able to, to lay their eggs on the crop. If you've got it over squash or anything that blooms or needs pollination, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that it's off when they're blooming. Ah, okay. Because <laughs> you, you don't want to keep the bees away. Right. But you can leave this on for a long time. You can. You, the the, uh, the roll cover will just literally float on top of your plants. And then at some point in time, if you want to take it off, you can. But for the beet leaf miner, the longer you leave it on, the better. Ah, okay. And what else you got for us today? Well, best example I have ever seen of verticillium wilt. This is a, a vine maple that died of verticillium, and there you have it. Uh, we just uh, cut this out yesterday, and verticillium is an issue, a soil-borne issue that you really can't do much about. Right, and you'd see the also the leaves would just kind of collapse. Yep, it'll look, uh, it'll dry that. out, yep. And yep. really, you'd have to take out the tree eventually. Y yes, you, you're not, no m amount of fertilizer. Right, there's <laughs> really no, or anything there's really nothing do to it. Eventually, it's, it'll go. Right. What else you got? What I did want to mention, bags. I put in a plastic bag in case it rained while we did this, <laughs> right. was the Master Gardener or the Gardener Mini College that is going to be in, um, in Newport okay. uh, this summer. And it's July uh, 13th through the 16th. And there's also workshops and lots of extra workshops to go to and tours on Saturday. Okay, and excellent. we'll put up the website. It's going to, it's the Oregon Master Gardener Association. And there's a phone number that, that we'll give you and a website so that uh, folks can take a look. It's a, it's a best gardening vacation and it's very reasonably priced. It's a lot of fun. Well, if you have any other questions, we'll have it on the screen. Well, thanks so much. We'll see you next month. Okay.